Well, I, I just think that he has been playing the game the right way, and uh, what we mean by the right way is, uh, you know, move the ball when guys are open. Uh, you know, we, we certainly are going to put the ball in his hands, both he and Jeff, to create offense for us. Uh, but we don't want, you know, guys taking low percentage shots, uh, you know, forcing the ball. And, um, you know, I think, I, you know, Paul has been playing that way. And, uh, you know, when he creates offense for us, guys on the perimeter, everybody's involved. Uh, we have games like, like tonight. And, um, you know, he, he's just been doing a good job. You know, he's a guy who's very capable of uh, putting up big numbers if they – uh, cover him with uh, a single coverage, and uh, when they double team him, he's been a willing passer uh, to get the ball out of his hands and uh, you know to teammates on the perimeter, and uh, they've knocked down shots. Uh, you know he's been efficient. You know for us, uh, you know tonight he gets to the free throw line, which uh, I'd like to see that happen a little bit more. Takes what 17 free throws, 16 hits, 16 of 17 free throws. Uh, being very aggressive. Uh, they didn't double team as much, so he took the shot uh, that was there. What kind of weapon is it having Paul's success at the free throw line um, leads the league yeah. in free throw percentage? You know, it's huge. Both he and uh, Jeff are really good free throw shooters. Uh, you know, we got one of the best free throw shooting teams in the league. And uh, when the game goes down, you know, getting down, uh, going down the stretch, you need those guys uh, that can shoot free throws, especially when you get into the penalty early. You put pressure on the defense, guys who can step up there and knock down a uh, shot. So it puts a lot of pressure on that defense uh, when you uh, are in the penalty and you have guys uh, such as Jeff, Paul, who uh, are capable of drawing fouls and they shoot a high percentage at the free throw. Nate came back from 16 down tonight. Uh, what is it about this team that enables it to make these comebacks from double-figure deficits, and how do you avoid getting into those holes in the first place? Well, you know, I talked to, uh, you know, I talked to them uh, in the fourth quarter and uh, when we were down, and I think we are 10 or 11 points. And, you know, what I told them, uh, we've been here before, and we've been here with this team. And, you know, the one thing that we have to do a better job of, you know, I call it the three Cs, uh, being calm, going down the stretch, not trying to get everything back, at one time or by ourselves. We've got to be clear about what we need to do, uh, which is get stops uh, and execute offensively. Uh, and then we got to be consistent with that. And uh, there have been games where we haven't done that. We haven't, we, we haven't shown that calmness going down the stretch. We've turned the ball over. We've uh, taken some quick shots. Uh, it really didn't seem like we were clear about what we were doing. And the consistency, we, we know we haven't shown uh, you know, this season. So uh, that was the thing that we talked about. We we did that last tonight. We looked pretty calm going into the fourth quarter. Uh, we didn't panic. Uh, we got stops. We fought our way into the game where we were able to take the lead, tie the game, and then we had to go in overtime to uh, win it. And I thought they showed poise uh, in that fourth quarter and that overtime. Speaking of the poise that you just spoke of, how – Difficult is it to kind of remain in the game, and when the score is close, not only that, but it's also a very chippy and very physical game. How difficult is it to just kind of stay in the moment? Well, you you have to. You th that's when you rely on um, you know playing the game the right way and your training, you know things that you practice, and uh, you know just being calm, that uh, calm and executing what you know uh, will work uh, because you've trained uh, for this day for this moment. Uh, you know, really all season long. And uh, when you're able to, you know, calm down and execute in those situations, uh, that's learning how to win ball games. And, you know, I thought, uh, again, tonight uh, we showed that. Uh, we showed glimpses of that, I think, throughout this season. But uh, we are, you know, I think we're you're somewhat of an experienced team. We should be able to execute down a stretch like that. Uh, there was a moment between you and Matt Barnes. Just wanted to ask you for comment on that, if you wanted to. I thought it was a flagrant foul. He didn't think it was a flagrant foul, uh, and that's what he said to me. And I said to him, I thought it was a flagrant foul, and it was. Yeah. Nate, this is the second time where 
to Marcus does well in the first half and you guys sort of adjust and yeah. limit him in the second half. What were the adjustments tonight and how much did Lavoie play into your guys' ability to sort of weather the storm with him in the second half and overtime? Well, uh, you know, just watch, looking at our game, uh, looking at our last game against them, a very similar game. Uh, to the game in Sacramento, and I just thought that uh, we put pressure on those guys uh, really for 48 minutes, and I thought they wore down uh, in the in the in the uh, first game. Um, we started to we kept our pressure. Uh, we had to fight even harder. Uh, they made some mistakes uh, late in the game in Sacramento, and we were able to get ourselves back into the game. We started to knock down the shots. Uh, and I think it happened again tonight where they were moving and, uh, you know, had us uh, in rotation, seemed like the first three quarters. Uh, our defense continued to work. Uh, and we had a number of bigs to play Cousins. We had Thaddeus. We had Miles. We had Lavoy. All of those guys, I think, you know, being physical, uh, you making them feel us on the defensive end of the floor, I think it did wear uh, wear them down, and uh, you know. But I think we're at our best when we play that way, and you know that's the thing that we've tried to uh, get our guys to understand that uh, you have to play this NBA game uh, that way on the defensive end of the floor. And uh, when we play physical on the defensive end of the floor, uh, we seem to be play in a better rhythm on the offensive end of the floor. And those two, those two incidents with Barnes, uh, the first one with Glenn, where it looked like maybe he smacked him in the face with his offhand, and then when he knocked Miles down, it certainly put a charge in the crowd. The, the building energized at that point. Did the team respond to that as well? Because they, you were down eight. Next thing you know, it's a three-point game, and it, be, it really becomes a different game the rest of the way. I thought we did, you know, and I told our guys, you know, before the game in Sacramento and tonight, uh, we won't play another game like this unless we play Sacramento again because this is old it, well, really, it's old school basketball. Uh, you know, Cousins put so much pressure on the officials to, you, you know, call the game and, uh, the the physical the physicality of that game, uh, you know that he brings to the floor. His teammates uh, they play that way, and uh, the the referees just they call it a little different. Uh, they allow a little bit more, you know. So we we had to match that intensity. Um, you know, we, we had to not allow uh, the physical play to be a distraction. Uh, we had to uh, you know go in this game with the mindset that the officials weren't going to be able to make every call and play through that and keep your head and uh, I thought we kept our composure uh, you know we we got a little fired up a couple times there but we kept our composure in that fourth quarter slowly chipped away at the lead and was able to uh, get the game but it's a difficult game uh, for the officials to officiate uh, Cousins because he's just he's he's very physical uh, his teammates feed off of that they play that way and um, you know if you if you don't come out with that style of play then they're going to just they're going to just pound you